Hello everyone. Welcome to Royal Data Online platform. Today we are starting a new topic, indices, and we are talking about laws of indices. Before we continue, have you clicked on the subscription button? If no, click on it now so that you get a notification whenever we post new videos. Also click on the like button and you expect your feedback on the comment section. So today we are talking about laws of indices. I'm going to be giving us 10 laws of indices. These 10 laws, trust me, no matter the question they are bringing on indices, you'll be able to solve them with these 10 laws. They, they will break everything down to the simplest form. Okay, so let us go. Law 1. Law 1. The first law says that A raised to the power B multiplied by A raised to the power C is the same thing as A raised to the power B plus C. Before I go deep in this, I need to explain something to us. Whenever you have a simple this is called index index form. This is index form. Bye bye. This is the power, and this is the base. So whenever I'm saying base, I mean this one. Whenever I'm saying power, I mean this. All of it together is an index form, and that's how you understand this. Is. Okay. Okay. So if you have the same base. The powers may be different, the power may be the same. When we have the same base and they are multiplying themselves, all you need to do is pick one of the bases, then add the powers together. For example, we have 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2. 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2. Normally, if you have to do it without, uh, without law of indices, you say, 2 raised to the power 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 raised to the power 2, which is 2 times 2, which is going to give you 32. But if you want to use indices, you have 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 2, which is going to be 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2. You pick one of the bases, you add the powers together, so that you have 2 raised to the power 5, which is 32. So the law is going to make it easier for us to get the answer. Okay, let's go to the law, to the second one, law 2. What if we have division here instead of multiplication? What is division? We have a raised to power b divided by a raised to power c. So you still pick one of the bases, but this time instead of adding the powers, you find their difference. That is the first one minus the second one, a raised to power b plus c. For example, if we have, let's use the same example we used there, 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 this is going to be 2 raised to the power 3 minus 2 if you are using the law of indices because you pick one of the bases and then you subtract the power so you have this is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 and this is 2 when we want to do it without law of indices 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 is the same thing as saying 2 raised to the power 3 over 2 raised to the power 2 and this is 8 over 4 and this is the same thing as 2 so, the law of indices is just to make work easier for us and make it simpler for us. Let's go to the third one, law 3. The third law is saying that what if we have a negative power? What if it is not positive? What if it is negative? So, you have something like this. A raised to power minus n is the same thing as just 1 over whatever you have as the base. Whatever the base is. You have to divide that base, you divide 1 by 8, that is 1 over 8. And the moment you push it down as 1 by 8, you remove this negative to have positive. For example, if you have 3 raised to the power minus 2, it is the same thing as 3 raised to the power, I mean 1 over 3 raised to the power 2. So this is 1 over 9. Okay? So even if it is fraction, like you have x over y, all raised to power minus n, it's going to be 1 over x over y, all raised to power n, which is the same thing as y over x, all raised to power n. So let's continue. Law 4. Law 4. Law 4 says that uh, what if you have something like You have two powers, a raised to power b, or raised to power c. This 
système de la zone du système de la zone du système du système pénal et le score b multiplié par c so you just multiply the powers together il vous dit clairement dans ce qui a fait il vous multiplie les deux powers together le système est pour une base just one base for example for example if you have we raise power two all is for two. Look at that. Three is for two. All is for two. If you want to do it without the law of indices, you go and say that three is for two is nine. All is for two. That's fifty one. But if you want to use law of indices, you see that three is for two. All is for two. Is simply three is for two times two, just like this. And that's going to give us three is for four, which will give us eighty one. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So let's go to the next one, law five. Law five. What if we have this? A is power b multiplied by c is power b. This time, you know, here we started with they have the same base, but this time we are talking about they have the same power, different base, the same power, different base. All you need to do is just do your normal multiplication and give it just one power. The same, I mean, the same power, different base. Just pack them together and give it one power. So you have, I mean, for example, now let's say we have, let's say we have uh, four to the power two multiplied by three to the power two. This, if you do it normally, 4 is power 2 is 38, that would be 16. If you do it normally, 4 is power 2 is 16, 3 is power 2 is 9. If you compute this multiplication, you are going to be having 144. But we want to use law of indices. 4 is power 2, 3 is power 2. All you need to do, 4 is power 2 times 3 is power 2, is just multiply 4 by 3. And give it one of the two. Okay, so that's going to be 12 to the power 2, and that's going to be 144. Okay, 12 to the power 2, 144. To so know, you know, I, I said earlier we are having 10 laws. I'm going to stop the video here. For you to know the remaining ones, at least from 6 to 10, what our next video for to get the other for exact to click on the subscription button to get notification. Whenever we post video and click on the like button, we also want your feedback in the comment box. Don't forget, you need to watch us for the next one because that's, that's when we are talking about from law 6 to law 10. Thank you very much. See you then.